Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 307. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 307 to 315. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to invert this table. Now, in other videos, we've seen how to use transpose to turn the table on its side. So if values are listed vertically, the transpose function will list them uh, horizontally. All I want to do is flip them. So we have score and grade. 350 and 4, these are the biggest numbers on the top. All the way down to the bottom, the smallest numbers are at the bottom. And I want to flip this table. Now, the pattern we can recognize is sorted, biggest to smallest, and their numbers. So here's a fo formula we'll, that will uh, work for numbers. We want to get the smallest ones to the top, so we're going to use the small function. Small function, if we give it an array and tell it any particular number, for instance 2, it'll give us the second smallest, 3, the third smallest. I'm going to click here, Control Shift Down Arrow, and F4, F4, I need to lock it going down. However, when I copy it over to the grade column, I want this range with the dancing ants dancing around to move over to the grade column. Comma, and all we need to figure out is how to get our K. We need a 1 in this row, a 2 in this row, a 3 in this row. So we'll say get the, the first smallest, second smallest, third smallest. Well, we use our rows function. We've seen this in lots of other videos. We'll say E8, so we'll type E dollar sign 8 colon E8. What this says right now is how many rows are there? 8 to 8 is 1. Well, because this one is locked as we go down, this one is not locked. When it gets down to the next row, this will say 8, this will say 9, so it will be 2. When it gets down to the next one, it will be 3. Not only that, but we only put the dollar sign in front of the 8. So when we copy over to this column, it's not still stuck on E8. It actually moves over to F8. Uh, the speed at which formulas calculate is proportional to the number of cell references. So in this case, without two dollar signs, even though it would work that way, it'll calculate more quickly. And for bigger formulas, that would matter. Hey, so we have that formula, close parentheses, control enter. I'm going to drag it over one and then drag it down. Sure enough, it looks like, oh, it got the biggest ones on the bottom and everything in between all the way to the smallest ones on top. Now, if we were to change any of these numbers, they would automatically update here. Now, what if we have the reverse situation? Still numbers, but the smallest ones are at the uh, top here. Well, we would do equals large, because we want to bring the largest ones up to the top. Highlight that range. Control Shift Down Arrow, F4, F4, comma, and we'll still use our rows. We're sitting in H8 right now, so I type H, dollar sign, 8, colon, H8, close parentheses, close parentheses. Control Enter, drag it over, and copy it down. So now we can see the smallest ones are at the top, the bottom and the biggest ones are at the top. Now, how do we do this if we don't have numbers? Well, we'll probably uh, use the index function. The index is good for so many things. Uh, we'll use index equals index. Index needs an array of some values. And then you just say, hey, what row is it that you want to retrieve and what column? We only have one column, so we don't need to use that. We'll highlight this. Control Shift Down Arrow, F4, F4 comma, and we get to our row. Now, how in the world are we going to increment? Now, let's think about this. If right now we have, I think, 13 uh, rows here, if we said 13 for the index, it would give us this one. If we said 12, it would give us this one. 11, it would give us this one, or whatever those numbers are. So we need to somehow increment a number that starts big and gets smaller as we go down. So how about this? Rows. Rows will tell us all the rows. Control Shift Down O, F4, F4. Right now it would give us, uh, oh, it's just 10. So 8, uh, uh, 10 values. So that's 10. Right now that would give us the last value in the list. But we need to have 10 go to 9 and then 8 as we copy it down. So watch this. We'll minus rows. And we're sitting, we'll use the same trick we just did, a number to increment so we sub can subtract. Uh, increments or increasingly large numbers with increments of 1. So we'll first subtract 1, then 2, then 3 as we copy this formula down. So we'll say we're in M8. 
So m dollar sign 8 colon m8. But the problem with that is right now, we'd get our, our 10 minus a 1, and that gives us 9, which is not what we want. We want to start with 10. So then we just add 1 back in, close parentheses. As we copy it down, that'll get us our incrementing number, starting at 13, going to 12, 11, 10. Or I'm sorry, 10, 9, 8. Control Enter, and I'm going to click and drag and drag it down. And there we have, um, down at the bottom, our name 11, true, and 43 get brought up to the top. First, second, third, all the way down to the bottom. If we click here and do uh, our formula auditing evaluate formula in 2003, this is under the Tools menu, or the keyboard shortcut, Alt-T-U-F. You can watch it go. See? Oh, so it's 11 total. Man, I cannot count. That's an 11. Uh, evaluate 3. So right now we're sitting in uh, 1, 2, 3. So it incremented and got a 3, right? So there's 11 total, minus 3. Gives us 8, but we need to add that 1 back in. It gives us 9, and simply index grabs the ninth one in this array, which is 43. Now, what if we wanted to go to the side instead of up and down? So here it is. We have some values this way, and we want 43 here, we want super here, we want cool here, and rad here. We'll use the same exact construct, but instead of rows functions, we'll use columns. So equals index. We'll highlight this whole range, lock it with the F4 key in front of the column, comma columns. We'll highlight this whole range, lock it in front of the columns, close parentheses, minus columns. And we need to have a number that will increment as we copy it across the columns. So we're going to start in 09. It's dollar sign 09, colon 09, close parentheses. And we have to add our 1 back in. Control Enter. Notice how I had all the cells highlighted. I used Control Enter, which just populated all the cells. That wasn't an array. But there it is. It uh, reverses them. Uh, from this horizontal position to this horizontal position. All right, that's how about in some formulas for inverting. See you next trick.